Hello and welcome to Vidush Academy. You are for another episode, so to say, where I'm going to see what can be done with Python in Excel. So today I'm going to do some linear regression and just start something there. I will simply go with Python and as I show, try Python samples and I'm going to go to generate a linear regression. This is one of the really famous data sets for linear regression and for the machine learning people, Arvis data set. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a bit of the code here for our own data set, which is pretty much the following. It's called vehicle data set, and I'm taking it here from Kego or Kago. Yeah, uh, it's an open data set. So it's a good one. Pretty much I I have put it here and let's start. Mm, let's uh, start with pretty much copying what we have here and trying to adjust it into other into ours. I'm going to, to need uh, this one here. Let's make it a bit nicer. As you see, I'm just merging so at the end, the picture would be beautiful, not just one uh, one cell. As you, if you if you go to this one, just fixing a bit. If you go to this one, you'll see that it's a, a few. But if you just make it like this, then you have you can probably zoom and you'll see here that it only goes to one. Okay, it only goes to one cell. This is what I mean. Yeah. This is the original one. So as I said, what we do is copy paste these three lines and I'll name this IS in the name of the data set. And okay, what we're gonna do now, I'm just going to press enter. This is how it looks when it is not Python thing. Uh, what is important is to name our tables in Python like this. In, our, in my case, it's cars data data set. And you'll see Iris data set six and cars data set. Okay, great. So let's uh, let's think about making this a Python code. So how to do it is a Python code. We press Control Alt Shift and P. Yes, and we just forgot everything, but we can do it this way. So our name is not Iris data set. Our name of the data set was. Uh, what was the name of the data set? Mm. Cog data set, okay. One of the reasons we need good names is this one. So control enter. It's busy, it's going to it's pretty much going to get to get us this one here, but there. I guess. Interesting way, you know. Probably doesn't like that it's too small, let's see. Yeah, probably if I go here as a Excel value. Yeah, okay. This is something new that I just learned. You go like this Python object, doesn't show anything, but you can go as Excel value here and it will show you the data set. Okay, this is the one that we're not interested. We are interested in our own, which was cars data set. And our data would be the data frame for uh, let's think it would be the home one i think or it would be okay let's go with uh, uh on the x we would be having uh, mm, on the X, we would be having the selling price. And on the Y, we would be having the Q meters driven. So let's see here, we would be having also selling price. And here we will be having Q meters driven. Control enter. Does it work? No. Why? That's a good question. 
Uh, let's go back here. Did I remember something? Nope. Actually, I know. It says something like, um, yeah. Okay, let's just hide some of the useless columns. Like car names would be extremely useless. Uh, and let's see why it is not working. Okay. It says none of the index selling price Q method rerun are in the columns. In order to see what is in the column, we can do the following print sample DL dot columns. Let's see what we print it. And this is the interesting part. What we see is that we get the first row here as a column, and that's not exactly what we are want, what do we want. So we have two options. We can override the first row losing one one thing so this way we would get it and you see that we would also get what we needed but this is not the correct way to do it because first of all we are losing one line second of all this is really not a programming way as well what we can do is actually say here to the named uh, set that we here that we want everything like all including the columns so this way everything will be perfect and our small tiny picture would be present image generated in python okay so what do we get here let's increase it a bit more and this is really not the best linear regression data I mean, our idea in for this linear regression is to predict the selling price based on the kilometers driven from our dealership. Well, obviously the correlation is a bit strange. I mean, the selling price is pretty much mainly here on the left. So it would be probably a good idea to remove this outlier. And in order to remove it, let's write something like... Uh, options and options would be mm, let me see uh, kilometers driven mm, let me actually find this one 500,000 come on really okay okay kilometers driven I'll simply say mm, options equals 500,000 and here what I'm going to do is to say cars df equals cars df dot Lock and now uh, KMS driven. Okay, is not in options. Let's see. Uh, something is unmatched. Uh -huh, this one. So after the lock, we have. Uh, after the lock, we have cars. DF and then like this. And most probably it's not in. It's something that I have. Cars DF is not defined. That's really strange. Let's research a bit. Carsdf.lock, carsdf.lock is okay, not in. Why doesn't it like? Oh, I got what I just did. Okay. Let's copy this one. And press a few control Z's. 
Oh, it was named sample df. That's another thing. Make sure that you always name your databases uh, the way you, you would understand. So cars.df is now defined. And now this thing not in doesn't exist. So it should be like is not in. Mm, let's research for a second. Okay, what I just found with my research is that we should need uh, something like a tilde like this and say is in. Let's see. Let's see what is going to happen. Whoa, sample df not defined and we get a lot of data here. Mm hmm. Yeah, CarsDF, CarsDF2, options. Okay, it's this one, CarsDF, as I said, always rewrite the names, CarsDF. And yes, we got some better information here. Okay, options negative, let's go with this way. Options exclusive makes more sense. And let's put some inclusive options, so to say, just to make it a bit better. So we are going to see that we only want seller type drive dealer. Mm -hmm. mm, here. Options inclusive equals dealer is in options inclusive. Control enter. Well, it's really not the best thing, but let's think about something else. Except for dealer, we have individual, individual. Let's and the individuals well that looks interesting we even no i i'll still go to the dealer uh, okay let's not look for kilometers driven and then look for something else i would say for example um, here, yeah, here is a good one. Here, yeah, you see, they're like linear because 2017.5, they obviously made this for a reason, I guess. Let me see why the data somehow became like this, okay. Okay, now I got it, 2015, 2016, 2017, and the fact that they have 2017.5 is just as a point. There are no ending on five years. Uh, let's think how to increase somehow something else. Uh, for example, we can only be interested in automatic cars. Because some of the manual actually can be more expensive if we are with the time, yeah, we see, I wouldn't call we see something great, but let's, let's think about it. What else can we, can we do? Kilometers driven. What about if we check at the present price and not in the selling price? I'm not sure what exactly the difference is. We have to go into Kago and see what the guy created. Uh, the data thought about it. Yeah, it's probably something, and we can say, so, okay, let's think about kilometers driven. I mean, there should be some kind of dependence. Okay, and let's actually filter just uh, the year. Something new, I want to see whether it would be okay. 2017, 2018, that's a good one. 
2017, 2018, uh, cello type K, and here we would go with EO. And I'm expecting to see something. Something here, didn't see it. Let's see. Just 2018 automatic, we only have one. Okay. 2017, 2018. This is not exactly the way to do it, but this is what sometimes I have to do. And when I haven't prepared something. And yeah, we have something. We see our data that actually kilometers driven is not exactly something to do with the present price somehow i mean they are really outliers in the data so we cannot make some kind of a great saying probably and this is also with the transition but yeah pretty much that's the idea still no conclusion from data can be some conclusion so yeah, that was it. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye.